Renardo spilled as the biggest test of his career so far. But the same was said about Samuel Vargas last time out. And Vargas lasted but around. Granados gets on the front foot in the early stages and then circles around the outer of the ring, as he often does in the early phases of his contest, to take a look at the opponent. Ben flicking out the left hand after a solid right hand just grazed the chin of Granadas and then another left hook from Conor Ben. We saw him working on that with Tony Sims in the dressing room before he made his walk to the ring here to this bare pit atmosphere. And now he tries to open up and Granadas complaining already. And that's a sign that he might be uncomfortable. For Granadas, he has to just weather these first three or four rounds and take Ben into the later, into the later rounds. Ben working away to the body and the crowd roar. But that was a slip. He's just got to stick to the basics here, Ben. Get back to back to the fundamentals of boxing. Good right hand over the top. That was a jab right, right hand, hand over the top. From ben. Now he works away oh. to the body, and Granados is hurt by a left hook. Brilliant work from Ben. But credit to Granados as well, he comes straight back. Just fires a jab to the body just to send a message that he's still there. He's still firing. Good work, though, by Ben towards the end of this third round. Ben still using his feet to cut off the ring space and wings in another one of those big right hands and then follows up again to the body. Smart work again, powerful work from Conor Ben. And took a good left hook himself, Ben. So showing a good chin. Good work by Ben. Again, varying the line of attack is Ben working away to the body and then following up to the head. Some particularly impressive work to the body tonight by Connor Ben, and that's affording him the opportunity to then follow up with crisp right hands and left hooks to the head. Granados trying a different approach now. Trying to stand in and fight inside with Ben. Be rough and physical with him. Granados still has some ambitions. He, of course he will. He's still there to win. And you see how he's been raising his gloves at the end of the last couple of rounds, how he feels he's feel still very much in the contest. Right hand over the top from Ben. Again, it just grazed ahead of... Granados, but the follow-up left hook, get get through in crunching style. But Granados takes them well. And comes back with two good uppercuts. But for Granados, the more he'll try to fight like this, the more opportunities Ben will have to land something big on him. Turns out for Granados. Good right hand for the middle. Brilliant right hand from Ben, one of his best shots of the contest, and tries to follow up with the same shot, but Granados takes it. Again, all part of the learning curve for Ben, that not everybody will crumble when those right hands connect. Ben with that right hand, Cox trying to wing it in once again. Better success with the left hook. But looking to load up way too much on that right hand. And telegraphing it and Granado seeing it coming.
frustration growing for, for Conor Ben. And that was Granados' round in my book. And valuable experience in terms of the 10 rounds. I was talking to Tony Sims, his trainer at the weigh-in, and he was saying how, because of that limited amateur pedigree, he's had to do so much of his learning in sparring. He's been in gyms in Los Angeles and Las Vegas, as well as all over Britain. All part of the learning process. All part of building him into the kind of character that's been able to come through this test here tonight against one of the toughest characters in the sport. But all the time remembering that the welterweight division is one of the most talent stacked in the sport. Top from Granados gets the, on the ropes as Ben just gets clumsy for a moment. Ben imploring his man to come forward. What are you made of is the signal from Ben. Granados prefers to get on his bike as the bell sounds at the end of 10 rounds. A solid test for Connor Ben. This was at the end when they were imploring each other to fight, exchanging Ben. When it was when they were exchanging like this, this is some of the fight pretty much. When when they had an exchange, Ben was the better man. But it was the craft and the experience of Granados that kept him honest all night. Ladies and gentlemen, after ten rounds here in Leeds, we go to the judges' score totals. Steve Gray, 100 to 90. Luigi Boscarelli, 99 to 91. Leszek Jankowiak, 97 to 93. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. He's still undefeated and still the WBA Continental Welterweight Champion, Connor, the Destroyer.